What's up guys, this is former Springbok and Rugby World Cup winner Brian Havana. You're watching Gareth Mason on Walking Tall with G-Man. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. This video has been requested by a lot of you and a lot of people have done it already in December. Some people are doing it now. I thought I'd also do it now since I'm back on YouTube doing the videos for you guys. Now at the end of 2019 we said farewell to a decade. A decade of amazing rugby where we witnessed some great great stuff we've seen the rise of teams we've seen the fall of teams we've seen end of careers of phenomenal rugby players that no longer play we've also seen the beginning of new careers of rugby players that just are continuing to peak and develop and continue their careers be it for their national country now or be it overseas they're really going at it and playing some cracking rugby. And in this decade of 2010 to 2020, we've seen something special where, or 2019 really, we've seen remarkable things happen. We've what, witnessed a team like the All Blacks dominate world rugby for so long. We've seen Wales rise in the, the occasions where they've won the, the Grand Slam Six Nations. We've seen the Springboks go through a weird phase of up and down and then up-ish, and then down to the bottom, and then ending it off on the 2019 Rugby World Cup champions. We saw Ireland very quiet in the decade, but then in 2018, they just had a remarkable year. We've also seen some great sparks from England, up and down as well, but then coming back and really playing some great rugby. So it's been a highlight of, of phenomenal stuff. Even Argentina coming into the Six Nations, uh, sorry, the Rugby Championship, as well as the Super 15 tournament, we've really seen them go from strength to strength. Also had their moments where they've dropped down a bit, but they've definitely um, shown improvement and worth and why they are here to stay and why they are here to play competitive rugby. So this video is dedicated to my, in my opinion, my top 15 players that have played in the decade. Obviously, it's a video that I don't always enjoy making because it is quite controversial. There's a lot of people that get aggressive for not selecting their countrymen or their people. But you know what? We're all entitled to our opinion. And this video, I've selected my team. And that's what the comment section is there for. Select yours and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But without further ado, here is my World Rugby Team of the Decade. Well, there you have it. The team of the decade, well, G-Man's team of the decade. Some real greats. In fact, in my opinion, they're all greats. All phenomenal rugby players who've done their jobs for their fellow country. Obviously, you can't have every single player that you want, especially heroes. Um, I know I'm missing a few players that uh, I regard as really, really high, especially in Ireland, Conor Murray, Johnny Sexton. But for me, in the decade of what we've seen from start to end, um, players who have retired, players who have continued their career. Um, I think I've chosen a solid team, but obviously let me know yours in the comment section down below. Quick brief is the beast. I've gone with him. I mean, he's a veteran, a legend in South African rugby. Dan Coles from New Zealand. What a hooker he's been. Owen Franks, true ambassador. Brody Retallick, another star who's really done wonders. I mean, come on. Alan Wynne Jones, I mean, he's just. A legend, World Cup after World Cup, um, Six Nations champs. He's just a legend in himself. Great, great player. Number six, I could not, not select him. The greatest All Black captain, in my opinion, Richie McCall, taking his team to two Rugby World Cups. What a legend, what an ambassador. Great, great person. 
And then obviously big old Sam, who unfortunately had to retire due to injury. Um, another Welsh great who really showed up and played phenomenal rugby for his team. Kieran Reid, number eight. Um, I've admired this man from the start of his career or start when I really got into the rugby field or rugby game. And um, I've just respected him ever since. I think he's done wonders for his team. Aaron Smith. This was a tough one because I was going Conor Murray, Aaron Smith. We got even a little bit of Farida Prayer there. But I thought Farida Prayer's spark was really 20, 2007 to 2012-ish. So for me, Aaron Smith has been a solid ambassador for all black rugby. He's been a part of the team that has been so dominant for the past 10 years. And um, I could not not have him in my team. 10, I'm going with Dan Carter, one of the greatest fly-offs in rugby history. You can't deny that. A true legend and also a World Cup winner. Number 11, I've gone with the man himself, Brian Abano, one of South Africa's greatest wings to ever set foot on our South African soil. He's done wonders, tied with the great John Olomu for World Cups. Um, tries, if I'm not mistaken, a great, great player. And um, I wish he could have continued his career, but but a, a true gentleman on and off the field. Number 12, we've gone with the big man from England, Owen Farrell. Whether you like, love him or hate him. I know he was in a bit of talk the other day with another shoulder, a Farrell tackle. But for me, he's been a true ambassador and leader of England rugby team. And I cannot not have him in my squad. We've gone with Jonathan Davies as number 13. One of the best centres in world rugby at the moment. Another Welshman who's really shone. 14, I've gone with Ben Smith. A lot of people would say, why not Julian Sevilla and all that jazz? But for me, Ben Smith, a true ambassador, a true legend, a phenomenal rugby player for the All Blacks, whether it's fullback, whether it's wing, he's just a, a, a pure class athlete and I've got a lot of respect for him. And then last but not least, the man himself, I think everyone was getting worried there, thinking, how the hell can I not have this great man? But I put him at fullback, even though that hasn't been his position for the past 10 years, but Bowden Barrett, one of the greats of rugby. That's going to do it for my squad of the decade. Make sure you let me know your squad in the comment section down below. Always curious to hear what you guys have to say. But that's going to do it for my team. Let me know. And I'm curious to see all of yours. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers. Subscribe to this channel for more rugby content. You won't regret it. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.